Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. We have to launch it in a particular inclination angle and that we can see uh, on the next page. So, we have minus j in R e square, this is the nodal regression rate and we want this to be positive. So, how it can be made positive if i is greater than 90 degree. So, then cos i becomes negative. So, cos say uh, 110 degree if I put like this or cos 100 degree. So, this quantity is cos 180 minus 80 degree. So, minus cos 80 degree. So, this quantity is less than 0. So, therefore, if this is minus, so this get delta capital omega gets a plus sign and that means the nodal rig instead of nodal line regressing, now it is a progressing. Okay. Regressing means go going in the backward direction, progressing means going in the forward direction. So, that means for the retrograde orbit orbit i is greater than 90 degree and for that only the sun synchronous satellite is possible. Satellite is possible. For prograde orbit sun synchronous satellite is not possible and for that reason you will see that most of the if you get from some of the data, I will see that most of the uh, uh, this uh, sun synchronous satellite put at the altitude of 700 kilometers around and will have around 97 degree of uh, uh, around this value, uh, this uh, angle of inclination will be. So, all these are retrograde orbits and to do this, what we need to do? This uh, the sat nodal rate the nodal length, this nodal line should also progress at the same rate as this line is sweeping. Okay. So, this line will sweep through 2 pi in 365.25 days. This is the period of this earth around the sun. Okay. So, if it so, the earth is moving here. So, earth joining the sun and the earth has come here in this place. So, uh, by that time it should move in such a way that this beta angle beta 0 is also maintained here in this place beta 0. And if this is done, we get a sun synchronous satellite means always it is in synchronicity with the sun. Okay. Here for this kind of orbit what I have shown this is in this way for this kind of orbit the satellite will be always in the sunlight okay it will be never eclipsed but if you have this beta angle av available here okay so you can see that in this portion in this portion sun is available but once it goes in the back direction so sun gets uh, this uh, satellite gets eclipsed because it comes on the back side of the earth so, if it gets eclipsed means at during that time the uh, satellite antenna will not get any sun ray and therefore, battery on board the satellite will not be charged. So, you have to maintain a battery of the capacity that if, uh, it should have that much of backup that without sunlight the system uh, on the satellite will be running. And for that reason keeping beta 2 is small will keep the satellite for a longer period behind the earth. So, it gets eclipsed by the earth shadow and it is not receiving then the sunlight and the battery is not charging. So, 90 degree angle beta equal to 90 degree is the ideal one, but this limits the thing that no photography can be done and then the, the, for the remote sensing for satellite the, if there is no photography its a meaning is lost 
and therefore beta is kept small and backup is maintained with the battery that whenever the satellite is on the back side of the earth then uh, it's a uh, battery is supporting the system onward okay so if this quantity we keep it as minus 2 pi divided by 365 this is plus it's a progressing the uh, line joining the earth and the sun it's a progressing at this rate 265 into 24 hours into 36 so this gives you this isn't uh, converted into radian per second on the right hand side j value already i have written so if we insert those values n is available to us n is nothing but the mean angular rate of the satellite okay this is the mean angular rate of the satellite so depending on the purpose n is already fixed n and a these are already fixed n is directly related to a through this equation and at what altitude you are going to put it so all these things are already fixed so once these things are known say n equal to uh, this is the mean angular rate so this is 2 hour so this will be 2 pi uh, divided by 2 r means 2 times 3600 so this is the mean angular rate for the satellite satellite how much angle it's a 2 pi it's a going around the earth in the how much time so this is 2 r 2 r orbit if you have larger orbit so period will increase but this thing is then available to us by our design okay re is the radius of the earth which we can write 36374 kilometers or 76 kilometers sometimes we just approximate as this but for the actual purpose while we are designing the satellite the real purpose is it has to be launched so we have to be very accurate in all these estimates and eccentricity of the orbit of course what kind of orbit we are going to maintain we cannot keep a very uh, low altitude and high eccentricity because in that case the satellite will go the perigee will be lying inside the earth it will go and hit the earth so this is not possible so all these things are fixed in the beginning okay and accordingly then this i is chosen so if you uh, i am leaving this you as an exercise and also you can look into the book by uh, this uh, uh, so orbital mechanics the book name in the references I have given by Howard Curtis so there some examples are solved so instead of J there there the J2 is written with the zonal harmonic they have used okay it's the same thing little bit some terms are differing okay but the J value I have already stated and you can solve by assuming what is your a uh, the re values choosing properly what will be the your orbit or orbit period always you can calculate using n equal to mu by a q so once you choose a so n is available to you so from there you find out the value of i so this i once it's a greater than 90 degree then you are going to get this quantity as negative this makes it positive and therefore you are getting delta capital omega dot which is matching with the progression of this line so this line is progressing here in this direction so at the same rate your nodal line will also progress here in this direction like this so instead of being here it will be shown by the red again it will come here in this place so that this beta is maintained okay here in this place again it should be something like this so this beta is maintained Okay, and ultimately it will again come back to this place whatever is shown here so this way your uh, sun synchronous satellite is maintained of course this uh, because of the perturbation the eye also changes and for that you have to maintain it periodically and uh, this 
high perturbation it primarily comes from the moon and sun not from the j2 j2 perturbation j2 term we have not used but it appears in the spherical harmonics the expansion uh, we do for the uh, the for the earth bulge the earth is bulging here so because of this the perturbation which arises already we have done this okay so we have taken another route but it can also be done in the terms of the harmonics so in that case we mention it as j2 so j2 is the most uh, powerful term there which affects the satellite motion which will affect this capital omega dot but i it gets primarily affected by the third body which is the moon and the sun okay and for that some uh, uh, small maintenance has to be done Uh, from time to time okay. so we do not have this much of that much of time that uh, uh, we lack time to discuss all these issues here in this course but the basics i have covered so that you can read any book and learn your on your own uh, whatever you want so because of earth bulging or its oblate shape oblate sphere sphere wide shape capital omega will change small omega will change m dot will change a dot e dot and i dot they do not get affected by this do not get affected by earth oblateness because ultimately everywhere we have to write here uh, in those equations if you look for all the uh, equations and uh, this perturbation equation in terms of fr f theta and uh, fa the perturbation equation we have written so in those perturbation equation if you look so corresponding to this the uh, the perturbation terms will be absent due to the bulge and therefore this quantities will be zero only they exist okay so capital omega dot already we have done okay so omega dot is remaining and omega dot in the same way delta omega dot so omega dot equation first we have to write the perturbation equation and that perturbation equation then we have to follow whatever the way we have approached for this okay so this way this delta omega per period and divided by period this gives you delta omega dot okay and this quantity turns out to be j n r e square r r square times 2 minus i by 2 sin square i divided by e square times 1 minus e square whole square the denominator is the same as for delta capital omega dot we have got the same thing in terms of j2 if we write the same thing in terms of j2 in terms of of j2 it will appear as 
delta omega dot equal to 2 n divided by 3 by 2 j 2 times r e square by a square times 1 minus c a square whole a square times 1 minus 5 by 4 sin a square i. It appears like this. So, if we take this two inside one of them, so this will be 3 by 2 n j 2 times r e square divided by a square times 1 minus e a square whole a square times 2 minus 5 by 2 sin a square i. So, you can see the difference between this equation and this equation. Here there is j n is same instead of j there is j 2 r e square rest other terms are same means j and j 2 they are related by 3 by 2 j 2 and j 2 value this is given to be 0 0.0010826 and j value already I have stated earlier. So, this is the average rate of uh, this argument of perigee progression and this is called the progression of progression of epicytes. progression rate of perigee because it comes with a positive sign here there is no negative sign before this and therefore, this is called progression. So, immediately what we can observe from this place that if I uh, set this quantity delta capital uh, delta omega dot equal to 0 either here in this place or either here in this place we set it to 0. So, what we will get sin a square i equal to 4 by 5. So, if this critical angle is applied that your satellite is located uh, inclined at this value. So, which is uh, turns out to be i if will turn out to be 63 point something this value turns out 63.4 degree. If i is equal to 63.4 degree then your perigee will get fixed means the perigee will not progress. What does this mean that in the orbit say the perigee is located here okay. your this thing is progress nodal line this is the nodal line n n prime this is O now the n has come here n prime has come here. So, your nodal line is moving here in this direction. Okay. So, corresponding to this your orbit will also look like this orbit has gone like this. So, the, because of the nodal line uh, ro rotation your orbit has rotated like this and here i equal to 63.4 uh, degree if you keep then your this perigee location means from the nodal line suppose from this nodal line this perigee location is whatever you have this omega equal to say omega 0. So, the same perigee location will be maintained all the time. So, this will be also omega 0 value this will not change provided i equal to 63.4 degree. If this is not satisfied that means your perigee will not remain here in the same place, but rather it will move here this point will move here as it moves from this place to this place this has moved further the orbit is rotating. So, this will keep moving that means your uh, you have different orbits the, you are starting with this place 
and you have different orbits here. This is your first orbit here, perigee is here, the second orbit is here in this place, perigee moves from this point, it goes to this point, then this is the third orbit, perigee moves to this point, p1, p2, p3. So, perigee will keep progressing. So, if you want to stop this, then what is required? This one. Okay, so, these are the things that we can play with. Also, one more equation we can write m dot equal to n plus n times 3 by 2 j 2 r e square by a square times 1 minus e square whole square. 1 minus 3 by 2 sin square i. This is called progression of epoch. So, already I have explained that the epoch and the perigee they are not the same thing, because the epoch is defined by m equal to n t plus sigma, this is your that term, n times t minus t, so n t minus n capital T. So, sigma equal to, so instead of working with this, we have converted, we can convert in terms of m or either we can work in terms of sigma also, both way we can work. So, epoch at a particular instant of time whatever you have, so that can also move because of this perturbation and this is given by this equation. So, already we know the relationship here, uh, j is related to 3 by 2 j 2, okay. so 3 by 2 j 2 this can be replaced by j and you get the relation in terms of m dot. So, all this variation finally, I will write here, all these variations are circular in nature, means they are varying with time, they are not periodic. Variation in mean orbital elements orbital elements are circular in nature, periodic terms have been removed by averaging over a period. So, in one orbital period delta omega will be delta omega dot average times t, shift in orbital node or the nodal line in one period. If you do not want to change this, then you have to keep i equal to 90 degree that is the critical value at which the nodal line will not either regress or either it will progress. For progressing you need i to be positive, uh, uh, i to be uh, more than 90 degree which is the retrograde orbit and for regression you need i to be a small a smaller than 90 degree. Okay. So, this way this can be managed. So, this exercise then uh, I am leaving to you to do something yourself uh, checking uh, by taking the different uh, altitude of the orbit and then working with how much uh, 
the nodal line will uh, what will be the uh, what kind of sun synchronous orbit you are trying to plan this beta can be always fixed at the time of the launch or by the orbit correction the next uh, step we are going to take uh, this is the last two uh, weeks we will be covering in uh, that time the orbit maneuver okay. here also what we can observe that if for this omega delta omega dot if i is if i is greater than 63.4 degree okay so omega will decrease let us write somewhere else if i is less than uh, greater than 63.4 degree you can check it then omega will decrease as t increases and if i is less than 63.4 degree then omega will increase as t increases this is very much visible from this equation if i is small say i is 0 you can immediately see delta omega dot will be positive but if i equal to 90 degree so in that case this becomes one you can see immediately delta omega becomes negative okay so 90 degree is greater than 63.4 and 0 degree is less than 63.4 so immediately you can observe okay so we'll wind up this lecture here in this place uh, thank you for listening